Brian Dusho, CEO, Broadside International. Well, broad acceptance is really that um, you're, you're seeing more venue owners install digital networks um, in order to communicate to their customers or to increase sales. And so you're getting a lot of more hardware manufacturers and software manufacturers selling into those networks and experiencing growth. And that growth is happening with new networks and it's also happening with existing networks who are starting to expand. The problem is those networks aren't experiencing the revenue growth that they should. And what we're seeing is digital campaigns that are being sent um, there, everything that's happening as far as a digital campaign has been successful. There's been great feedback, great results, except they're very isolated. They're not being done on a mass scale. And that's why you still see digital science today as a very small part of the overall ad, ad spend in the United States. So when you look at key things that are you know, really things that the industry needs to overcome, um, we look at standards. So the DPAA and other organizations have done a good job with audience metrics and also with integrating the digital out of home planning tools. Um, but we still have more work to do with proof of play and also targeting, uh, tracking uh, advertising efficacy as one thing. Also, as I mentioned, the scaling of media buys. Today, you have media buys that, again, they last a long time to execute. Um, they start in one-offs and they go through the plan and what we see is that there's great success. But again, in order to get the dollar volume up, you have to execute in an automated fashion. You have to have automation of the media plan planning process so that you can do hundreds and hundreds of thousands of ad buys that go through a system. Well, they're all growing, right? So we're seeing massive growth across the board. The, the ones that really stick out in my mind though is retail and that's being driven by the, cons by the retailer themselves trying to communicate the proper message to the people in the store, in the environment, and trying to increase their sales. We're seeing re uh, transit is also very big right now and that's being driven because it's really become a migration of a static play into digital because the static's already there. And then healthcare, which has just always been strong because healthcare advertising budgets are starting to come back as they, they were kind of depressed in 2009 and 2010. I think it's uh, really, we're going to see uh, platforms that really integrate um, the, uh, integrate all the metrics and standards that are available in the marketplace today and make it easier for a media planner to target, to plan, target, and execute and report on media campaigns. The way it is today, we make it very difficult for them to be able to do that in an automated fashion. And so, you know, what, what the industry really needs is a way to change the mindset of just always focusing on the buy side, which is the planning piece, and start to focus on the execution. And when you bifurcate the two and you really focus on execution, that's the next thing that's really, from a technology perspective, is going to really in, in take this industry and leapfrog it ahead. The other thing is that you also have um, interaction with mobile technology. is also a technology trend that I believe um, we have to use that remote control device to have interaction from a consumer perspective. And then automated audience measurement is also another component that's you know, really going to come into play over the next couple years. Well, I think at Broadsend what we've done is we've, you know, right now we've established ourselves as, you know, the leader as far as um, efficiency, reliability, and accountability for digital signage networks worldwide. And we plan on maintaining that and continue to enhance that. We have hundreds of different networks in 25 countries that are all running on one single platform. And that gives us an opportunity to be something more than just a great software company. We actually have a program that allows all of our clients to opt in their inventory to participate in cross automated uh, cross network campaigns using Broadsign Open as the tool to do that. So we've given our clients the ability to have that automation and be part of a larger media buy instead of being siloed and having to raise a lot of capital to grow their network. We're also doing a lot of um, integration with mobile technology today also. So those are the real two things I think we're going to focus and really transform the company to be a platform for, um, trans, for digital media transactions. We actually, we actually launched Broadsign Open last year, and so we've refined it and we're working with um, a lot of the aggregators, and now we're starting to talk to media buyers and planners about how they can tap into this network of companies leveraging one platform, because I think the industry's realized that there is an execution problem, and again, you could point to a lot of different things, but at the end of the day, when you look at the digital signage market and say, what is that ad spend relative to the overall ad spend, there's a reason, and the reason why is that it's not self-serve. We have to get to a marketplace, we are digital, so we need to get to a place where it's not manual. 
uh, Digital Signage Expo, Brian Dusha with Broadside International. We are here. Where are you?